Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number 14 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. Hope you're liking it so far. And in the last video, I went over how to save a file and the many different ways to save a file. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export your file. Now, exporting your file is a little bit different. It's different in the sense that you can ex when you export, you'll have different file types that you weren't able to save as. So let me just basically show you what you're going to do is uh, we're going to actually jump into this other um, file right here. This is a, a, a basically a collage of logos uh, that I've done throughout time for clients. And what I want to do is I want to come up to file. Well, before that, I want to just mention um, the fact that there's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, 10, 20, 30, 40, you know, 40 plus artboards on this piece. Now that's going to come into play when we're exporting because we're going to have to select which artboards that we do want. Um, artboards was episode five. So you definitely want to obviously check that out if you ha have any questions on this. But what you want to do is you want to come to file export. Okay. And right now, you know, we're going to select well, I'm, we're going to select the formats to see the different types of formats. Um, if you're looking down here now, pretty much all these formats. Well, there's I mean, there's a couple odd ones in here and some I am unfamiliar with are flatter files. And I believe that's what exporting is really all about. The, you know, flattening of a file um, as opposed to saving it at uh, saving it as as in the last video where we there were files that we can re edit later on. Now, what I want to show you is obviously here's a list of them right here. And each one of them that you select are going to have different options. I'm not going to go through all those options. I'm just showing you the basics of actually exporting. So say we stick on PNG. Okay. We can either, uh, we can check artboards and we could use, we could hit all or we could do a range. So they, say I just want one, two, three, and four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit export and now it's going to come up with some options like I said each format is gonna have its own options so you know I know like for instance saving for uh, like like your Facebook and stuff that PNGs work very well when exporting and I use uh, a medium um, like compression on there and it usually works out pretty well um, you can change this to white or black the background and we're gonna hit OK all right and very simply where did I say that Oh, I know where I saved it. Let's see. Logos. Jeez. Date modified. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to pull these out here. And it exported them as separate files. You see? One. Let me select all. You'll see. One, two, three, and four. All right, cool. So that's really the basics of exporting. Nothing, you know, too crazy about it. Uh, but it's definitely something, you know, when you want to do your high, more higher resolution uh, type images like JPEGs and stuff like that, you're going to be using uh, exporting a lot for when you're saving, you know, on your website or when you're going to be, um, well, higher quality images uh, like for, you know, viewing on Facebook because there is a save for web option. But I have found I have gotten better results with the exporting. But I'll do a save for web video in the future. So that's it on exporting, everybody. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the series so far, or this video, if you if you didn't know already. And uh, definitely click the subscribe button and uh, make to make sure that you uh, don't miss any of these videos as soon as they come out. And my name is Steve Looney from GraphicDesignerTips.com. I will see you for the next episode. Have a great night, everybody. Peace.